Oh, hi. How are you? How are you doing there? Come with me. Come closer. Not that close. Back up. Hey, chill out. All right. So, you guys know I'm into the gardening thing. I'm into the little Earth Mama thing, right? I really love Mother Nature. I'm very grateful. And I want to expand. I always want to get better. That's what I love about gardening. I've been doing it since I was a little girl. And I learned my grandparents and my aunties, my mom, all of them had gardens, okay, growing up. And so it was a big thing. And then also, people back in the day on the block, it would be other mothers and parents that would be growing. Sometimes you will swap different vegetables and stuff you was growing and stuff like that. So it was a culture for me. It's a thing, right? It's a thing. And so as I got older, I lived in apartments. I would have balcony gardens and da-da-da. So basically what I'm saying is it always keeps me humble because I'm always learning something new. And I feel like each year I'm kind of like a newbie. You know what I mean? I have my little things I know. I'm sorry, my dog was tripping. I have the things that I kind of like know and then I like to expand upon them. So this is one of the things that I want to try. If you guys want to check out what I did last year, so my Diamond Lioness page, my vlogging channel, is just very small channel. I have a lot of fun over there. It's just very like freestyle, like here you go, content. You know, it's very fun stuff. So um, and it's a little bit different than this content over here. But over there, I built a hoop house and I got some of the materials from a resale shop or a rummage sale. Yeah, I got it from the rumor cell. Okay, blame my granny. I just love going. I don't care how. I don't care if I become a, a trillionaire. I'm gonna. I love. I love resale shops. I love estate sales. It's just it's just me. Okay. So, anyways, I found some PVC piping and I used zip ties. It was really really humble. Like yes, and I used plastic painters plastic, and it worked. It was pretty good. It worked pretty good. We got a good yield. You know, we rushed and kind of did it. It was our first time building our first garden bed, and it came out pretty good. It wasn't that bad. Now. Once you know better, you do better. Okay, so that leads us to the day. This is a DIY different size grow tunnels. See that? I want to do a grow tunnel, but I want to combine it with the garden bed. So I want to make a mini hoop house, greenhouse, grow tunnel. I'm going to mix them all together. Why not? Okay? So this is something cool that I got off Amazon here. Okay, you can see that the different materials up in here. Okay? This is the plant cover. It protects against harsh weather protection and, uh, and I guess, biting protection, like when it's really cold against wind, frost, sleet, and snow. Okay, it's 100 and, wait, 10 foot by 30 foot. Okay, so I guess 10 foot wide, 30 foot long. So that's actually a good, you don't need no big old, I mean, some people like to use it, but you don't really need that. So these are, here are the materials here. I'm trying to see where the little bendy thing is at, though. See if they have little bendy things on here. Let me find the many things. Okay, so I got to know you guys are like, why are you not out in the yard? Because I'm going to make the little garden stake things here. Let me show you. So I found them, okay? That's why it's important to read the instructions, okay? Notes itself, right? All right, so the installation steps, okay? It has, uh, the accessories are a 10 by 30 foot plant cover, okay? It's one of those. You have garden hoops, which is 50 pieces, which is great. Like, you can use this for quite a bit, okay? And I'm, I want to make mine sturdy. Because last year we had a tornado storm, which I never heard of that tornado wind storm. And it pulled up my garden, my greenhouse I had back there, and completely just messed it up. Okay. Um, it has connectors of 40 pieces and it has 15 pieces of the ground stakes and 30 piece clips, which I think I use these like to clip the um this ground cover on there. Okay. But I also have some glue. Just, you know, just to slick it down now. Also, you can get you some sandbags. And if you have some twine, which I have some twine in there. And I'll show you some of the tweaks I'm going to make to it just to kind of get it to stay down. Because we have crazy winds and stuff back here. Okay. Um, another thing that I could probably do is if you get a lattice, um, you could kind of put a lattice on the corner of your garden bed. On each corner. Make it look <coughs> cute. I'm sorry. It makes it look cute. And also, if you're growing any type of melon, any type of cucumber, it can grow up that, right, or, or roses. All right, so if you grow any type of melons or anything like that, it'll kind of grow up there. But also, it'll cut some of that wind that's coming in so it won't blow, let me call it, your grow tunnel down. Okay, it look like a hoop house to me. Go look up hoop houses, okay? I built a pretty good one last year. And it was pretty big, too, so... I think this right here, this might be a little bit better. Now, it says the, the tunnel width is supposed to be two to three feet. And then the tunnel height. No, the length of the tunnel, sorry, of the tunnel rod is five and a half feet. And the height 
is 1.6 feet. So if I make it bigger, so it gives you different options you can do here, basically. See? So that's only for combining four hoops to design your growth tunnel. If you want a little small one, right? I can make smaller ones, too. If you want a bigger one, you want to combine five hoops to design your growth tunnel. Okay? Try to see if I can show it to you. So that would be the tunnel width is three feet, tunnel height two feet, and the length of the tunnel rod will be 6.8 feet. Because remember, it has to bend over. So I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that. So, you know, you can kind of just, you know, gauge it for yourself and see what works out for you. You may need extra. I got an extra one here. Okay. I did get an extra one because I kind of know I want to make it a little bit bigger. I have big garden beds. Um, and then I might use a little small one that my daughters make a little small growth tunnel themselves outside of my garden beds. But I want to protect. I think I'm going to put this on my new garden bed. And then the one in the back, I think I still might use... Um, not only what they call plant protection, but I want to use some greenhouse plastic. So I'm going to do that one a bit different. Wish me luck. Peace.